What is up, Gamer Army? Welcome back to Psycho Gamer. I'm your host, Aubrey, and today we're going to talk about this MVSX home arcade cabinet. Is it real? Is it legitimate? Well, we're going to talk about that here right after this, so make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll be right on back. Welcome back again, guys. Like I said today, we are going to talk about something I talked about a couple weeks ago in one of my videos. It's going to be this MVSX home arcade cabinet. Now, it seemed like a really, really cool idea. It's going to be about the size of your typical standard arcade one-up cabinets. Just you'll be able to take the top part of it off and set it on a counter. So it's going to have like a countercade plus an arcade. Which, really great idea. 50 games going to be actually in this particular thing. Is it real? Is it legitimate? That's the question a lot of us are actually asking right now. Now, just by looking at their actual Twitter feed, they don't have many things that are actually on their Twitter feed. They had maybe about a half a dozen different things that were actually on their Twitter feed. However... Many people, myself included, have asked a few questions on their actual Twitter feed or have tried to help answer questions, and many of us have actually been blocked. That's a very curious thing about what this company is trying to do. You go on to Nintendo, Sony, Sega, any of these other game companies that want people to buy their product, they are not going to go out of their way just to block people for asking a couple of basic questions. One person that asked, is this screen going to be 4 to 3 or 4 by 3? Is it going to be standard? What kind of resolution are we going to be looking at? You know, are we going to be widescreen or, you know, any of those kind of things themselves? That guy got blocked. Don't understand why. Another guy, he ended up getting blocked by asking if they're going to go ahead and have a secure website set up an HTTPS website up for whenever they actually start taking pre-orders. Guess what? He got blocked as well. I also know of at least one more guy that was actually blocked and banned from their Twitter because he dared to ask if they were officially licensed from SNK themselves. That seems like a legitimate question to me. SNK hasn't posted anything on their websites about whether this is a legitimately licensed product so why would they want to shut this guy up just from asking that particular question yes some fanboys they can go a little crazy by asking a billion little questions but in this case it was just a single question and he got banned why that is the question i did as well because i was having a conversation with a guy telling him that hey they should have it set up by the time they're doing pre-orders. If not, well, they'll probably go through a different company to actually do pre-orders. That, for whatever reason, managed to get me blocked from their actual Twitter feed. Now, my question for them is, why are you guys blocking people for asking basic questions that you should already be prepared to answer the questions of? What is going on? Are you a legitimate company? Are you legitimately going to be selling these? I guess we will just have to wait until next month when they actually do start releasing information based on what we've been given. Supposedly September is when they're supposed to start taking pre-orders. Who knows? But no real business, no legitimate business that is trying to get their feet on the ground is going to treat prospective customers this way, let alone people that could go online and discuss this. Now my question for you guys are, how many of you have been to their actual Twitter feed and left a comment or a question and have been banned? Just post something below, explain what happened to you, what you actually asked, and what was so wrong with you asking particular questions. What is it that you want to know from this company? 
post it below. But that's going to be my rant. That's going to be my video for the day, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't. And next time, guys, we'll have some juicy stuff. Hopefully. Game on.